we'll edit the first bit out, we'll be fine. <laughs> Hey guys and welcome to Back of House Banter, a series that we're doing with some of my favourite hospitality professionals and today we're going to be doing Learning to Lead with LV. So LV and I have worked together for probably about four or five years on a couple of different projects so he's someone that you know is a real inspiration to the hospitality industry and has a lot of insights. So um, LV, do you want to tell us a little bit about yourself quickly? Um, so I'm currently a managing director for the Zeta Group here in London, in UK. Um, we're looking after three hotels, uh, all of them in central London. We've got beautiful hotels, beautiful coffee lounges, and our hotels are constantly ranked as one of the best in, in London and by extent UK and probably Europe by, by some measurements. So happy to be here. Thank you. I'm sure that you've got um, a really good story on how you actually got into the hospitality industry. So would you like to tell us a bit about that? So I don't know if um, an accident or accidental getting into an industry is, is a good story, but but that's my story, really. Um, so I came to UK about 16 years ago as, as a student. Uh, very quickly realized I've got a lot of free time in the evenings and afternoons. So I dropped my CV off at the local hotel. And as I was walking out, the hotel manager ran after me saying, can you start tomorrow? Having had no previous experience in, in hotels or, or you know bars or restaurants, I was hired straight away to work in a hotel, which, which was exciting and, and amazing. And very quickly, I realized that everyone in, in that environment was similar to me, you know, a couple of years experience maybe and whatnot. But um, it was just people from all walks of life, lots of students, lots of people that just wanted part-time jobs and whatnot. And it was just a really fun environment to be in. And, and um, I always aimed to continuously create these kind of environments in the places that I work with. You can be professional, you can be uh, good at what you do, you can you know, provide good levels of service, but it doesn't mean it have to be stuffy and boring and kind of, you know, kind of, yeah, <laughs> that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think there's a lot of people that kind of fall into the hospitality industry for, for whatever reasons. I know I started waitressing because, you know, I was a, a mum and I needed to earn money and it was a great way for me to do it. But I think there's a lot of really ambitious people out there that start at the bottom and don't know how to get ahead and actually figure out a plan of how do they become you know, general manager, how do they then become managing director? Um, and you've done that process, you know, what, what would your advice be to those ambitious people starting out? Um, one thing that was probably a big change in my own kind of perception of the job and in my career was a realization that if you want to do what, what I do now, you need to be a very good generalist. Quite often people focus on, on single area expertise. So it could be, you know, uh, running restaurants or meetings and events or revenue management, sales, whatever that might be. And all of those areas are extremely important. But if you want to go through ranks, you need to be quite wide in your reach and skills and an understanding of the business. You don't have to be an expert. You need to know just enough to hire the experts. In other words, people that are better than you at certain areas and then trust them. Uh, that's my main advice. Learn as much as you can, work with the people, uh, don't lock yourself into just a one single narrow pathway because that at some point might become a limitation, especially if you want to do, again, what, what I do. Not everyone wants to do that, not, not everyone should do what I do, but that's, that's my own advice into kind of this, this pathway. So obviously you've worked throughout the different departments and learning yeah. with people. What was, what was your favorite um, kind of department to work in? Definitely working behind the bar, pouring pine <laughs> in my very first hotel. It generally was the most fun job I've ever had. Um, now, it's got to some limitations. So if we're speaking strictly about career, then it's not necessarily the best career path to be, to be a bar person. But it was the most fun because people would come down. And it was, by the way, an airport hotel. And I still cycle every day past that same hotel. So I do see, on a daily basis, the place where I started my career every day. Um, and it's fun. But, you know, it's just fun because it was the airport. So, you you know, people before holidays or after holidays landing and just first thing they walk in, they check in, drop the key off. I need a pint, I need a pint. You had pilots, you had air crews, and you had this amazing stories from people all over the world. And people just really, really, really kind of switch off and lay back a little bit and relax a little bit. And they want to chat with you and, and they really, really want a pint of beer. So, so that was fun. That was really, really the fun thing. And I've, I've met so many amazing, interesting people um, and this kind of, you know, very kind of disarming environment where, you know, they relax. They don't have to act as, as someone else. They don't have to be, you know, air crews. We used to have, uh, for example, these high-end private jet air crews. And while at work, they used to act in a certain way. You know, it was almost like a mask, like an act they had to put on. 
but the moment you walk in, into a hotel, you order the glass of wine, a pint of beer, that was just like all comes off, human comes out, and they just you know relax. And and that that was really fun. That was really good, good, enjoyable thing. Everything else I've done, I've done revenue management, so I've done you know, food and beverage management, general management, you name it, I've done every single position, um, even worked as a kitchen pot wash at, at one point. So, you know, I've done every single thing you can imagine in a hotel. But yeah, being a bar, bar man, that was, that was most fun. I find it the same, like interacting with people and just seeing people come in one way and, and leave another um, yeah. was always interesting. And I remember we had this table of four and this guy had an amazing beard, slightly longer than your beautiful beard. And um, he decided to do one of the shooters, which is actually called a tripping Superman. And you had to, it had Zambuca, so you lit it. And then you had a glass that used to go over the top and you used to suck the fumes, blow out the, <laughs> the alcohol and then down the shot. But the flame didn't go out and I managed to set his beard on fire. So I'm there with this poor guy blowing on his face, going, <laughs> trying to put the fire out on his beard. And there's loads of stories like that that you walk away yeah. with that you have for life, you know? And I'm sure he still remembers me setting him on fire. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure he's going to find you on this podcast. It's like, ah, <laughs> that's where she is. 